If you wanna cast your iPad to your view board, we're gonna use AirPlay to do this. Now, one of the things AirPlay needs is you need to know the name of the device. I'm gonna have Blake open VCast receiver on the board, and this is gonna tell us what the device name is. So you can actually see the board is called Cast4294. And if you remember this name, you never have to open VCast receiver again. Again, this is just to get the name of the board. So then on my iPad, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swipe down from the top right of the screen and I'm gonna see the settings for my iPad. Uh, one of those icons is actually two rectangles uh, that are over the top of each other. And so when I press that, it's going to display a list of devices that I can AirPlay to. Uh, you probably guessed it, but I'm gonna scroll down and find where it says Cast4294. I'm gonna select it and then a code is going to appear uh, and then my iPad will prompt me to enter that code. So I'm gonna go ahead and type it in here. Press okay. And this does take a second, so be patient, but it will start syncing up and then your iPad should start mirroring on your display. So if I touch here, you can see now it's showing up. And again, this is a straight mirror. Now you'll notice there's space on the sides that's because the iPad is a little more square and the view board is more widescreen. So there's nothing you can do, right? It's not gonna stretch the image. Also note that when you're casting using AirPlay, you do not have touchback on the board, okay? It's strictly for casting. So essentially you're using the board as a projector.